Hello everyone, I'm Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment. Okay, you guys, this is a follow up box two from Amazon arrived. Okay, it's finally here. Um, I opened it because I just wanted to make sure that this went with the box one that we had already opened and it does. So quick opening today. Okay, finally, yay, the uh, shampoo to the conditioner that was in box one finally showed up. Um, so as I had mentioned, this is the Matrix Biolage Cooling Mint Scalp Sink Shampoo. Now, um, between now and then, um, I actually have used this shampoo and the conditioner once. Um, I literally was out of all my shampoos and conditioners for myself. Um, and I had to use it. So I have used this one time now. Um, I washed my hair yesterday. I didn't wash it today. Now I will say it doesn't smell horrible. It doesn't smell great. I'm a kind of person that really likes strong scents. Um, especially like, you know, when you go to an, a, a a hairdresser and they shampoo your hair and the shampoo always smells amazing like I don't know it's amazing I like that I like that it smells good I like that it's strong um, this one not that strong of a sense which isn't always a bad thing um, I also noticed the shampoo it really didn't lather up that well now I know you're supposed to shampoo twice right Obviously, the second time you shampoo, it lathers more than the first time. This did that. It's just, I don't know. It doesn't lather as good as I would have liked. Um, another thing I noticed is right after I had washed my hair, I, you know, brushed it. It did look like I had a little more volume at the time. Um, I mean, my hair, I'm wearing it down because I've been suffering with migraines and I don't want to put it up and have extra you know, um, tightness on my hair with, when I have it up with the ponytail. Um, I don't, I haven't noticed, I haven't noticed anything good or bad, if that makes sense. Um, is it amazing? There's nothing that really sticks out for me where I would be like, oh my God, you have to buy this. It's not horrible. Um, for the price though, I feel like it's giving me the same performance that any shampoo and conditioner would, even from like drugstore, Walmart, you know, a five, $5.97 bottle of shampoo, I feel is about the same as this. And I think, I don't remember the exact price of this. I want to say the shampoo was like around $23, $24. For this size so to me that's pretty expensive will I buy this again I want to say no but I only used it once so I want to give it you know a few more times before I make a final final decision um, but after using it once there's nothing remarkable about it um, I'm not blown away so you know, we'll use it a few more times. I mean, obviously I'm going to use it until it's gone, but will I reorder it? Will I buy it again? Yeah, I'll probably look for something else. So there's that. Okay. More face masks for my daughter. Um, I had told you I had ordered more. I did. Here they are. Um, I got, this is a pack of 50. Now I didn't realize this at the time, um, there's also, it comes with little plastic resealable bags here too to keep them in because obviously these are just, um, they're not individually packaged, but this company, let me open it here. This company did give these, which is kind of neat. So they're, um, it says 10 pieces here, uh, of a little reusable bag. So you can stick it in there, you know. If you want to keep it clean and everything, that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, so they're just a big mess here. There's, uh, I think, five different patterns, and I didn't realize at the time. These ones have Belle on it from Beauty and the Beast. 
Um, there are other ones like this one is just unicorns and rainbows. Um, I didn't realize that there were some with bell. I'm going to have to make sure that we use those ones. Um, just when we're out and about and when she doesn't go to school, uh, because her school has a strict policy on no, uh, like Disney characters, no licensed characters, uh, that kind of thing. So I uh, got to remember not to send those to school. So, uh, we've got, I think 50 of these. And then we have another 50. These ones I think are really cute. These are another 50. Again, I think there's five different patterns in here. These ones have little panda bears on them. These ones here have like rainbows and sunshine. And it, they just, they're super cute. These are super vibrant. There are some other patterns in there as well. Um, I don't remember the cost of these. Honestly, I don't. Um, but I just... I want to use these for her going to school just because I'm hoping these are going to stay on her face better than the reusable cloth masks we've been using. You guys, I know I've mentioned this. I've gone through so many face masks for my daughter, like trying to get ones that are comfortable, that stay on her face. Like it's been, it's been a challenge. So I'm hoping these will be good. One other thing in here. And then this is the end of the Amazon haul. We got a pulse oximeter. Um, if you're not familiar with what these are, I'm pretty sure this takes batteries, so I'm not actually going to be able to show you uh, it working. Um, but basically, you've probably seen these if you've ever gone to the doctor or to a hospital. Um, this is what it looks like. And you basically stick it on your finger and it monitors your oxygen level. Why did I get this? I'll tell you why. Um, I actually thought about getting one of these last year, but I didn't. Um, at the time, our little rescue dog, Susie, uh, was she had a heart condition and she was having a lot of breathing problems and I was monitoring her breathing um, constantly and I thought about getting um, one of these so I could see how much oxygen she was actually getting because it, it was at the, it was touch and go. So if her oxygen level was dropping and was below a certain point, I had to rush her into emergency um, vet care for them to put her in an oxygen room to get her oxygen back up. Um, so I had thought about ordering one. Um, unfortunately, um, Susie passed away before I was able to purchase one. And then I just never thought of it again. And then, if you've been watching my videos, you know in January, I had COVID. We all did. My husband, myself, my daughter, we all had COVID. And um, I got hit the hardest out of everyone. My husband was fine. My daughter was fine. I was not. Uh, I have uh, a lot of, um, as a child, I had a lot of issues with my lungs. I had asthma. I had chronic bronchitis. My lungs are not the healthiest because of all of my childhood illnesses and COVID really took it out on me. I was having trouble breathing. I was utilizing an inhaler, which honestly, I haven't used my inhaler for years. Um, I happen to have one that was prescribed to me like two, three years ago that actually was expired, but I used it and it did help. Um, don't worry, I did get a prescription for a new non-expired uh, inhaler, which I used while I had COVID. Um, but um, I called 811, uh, which if you don't live in Canada is the number, you can call a health hotline where a registered nurse helps determine if you need to go to the hospital or see a doctor or if you're okay. And one of the things she was asking me was things like pulse, things like that. And um, I read if you're under a certain percentage of oxygen, you need to go into the doctor. 
And I mean, how, how else, if you don't have one of these, how are you going to know how much oxygen you're actually getting, right? Like you're not going to know. So I, I thought, I'm like, you know what, this is probably a good thing to have, right? I mean, just to have in your first aid kit, just to help you determine things, right? I mean, thankfully I no longer need it at this moment. Um, but I'm sure at some point in my lifetime or my daughter or my husband or someone we know, I'm going to want to know how much oxygen they're actually getting. So, um, we decided to get one. I can't remember. There's you guys, there's so many of these. I got this from Amazon. So many of these available, all different price ranges, like super cheap to super expensive. We kind of went mid of the line there. I want to say, I'm not even going to guess what I, what I paid for this. I want to say it was like, less than 30 bucks. I don't know. It wasn't like $6, but it wasn't more than 30. Somewhere between 20 and 30 bucks, I think is what we bought this for. It does take um, two AAA batteries, I believe, which is why I can't turn it on. But we just thought it was something good to have. So, <coughs> excuse me. Man, I've been talking a lot already. So we picked one of those up because, you know, I'm kind of a health person when it comes to that. Like I like knowing people's stats when they're sick. I like knowing their temperature. I like knowing all that kind of stuff. It helps me determine if it's, you have to go to the doctor or you're okay to stay home. Um, so it was just, it was a no brainer for us to get this. So it does take two AAA batteries. It's six display modes. Um, so it does have, you know, it just tells you everything there. Um, real time waveform one button measurement, super quick and easy. Um, so that's the pulse oximeter or oximeter, however you want to say it. And that was the second Amazon box that came. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick video. That doesn't happen that often. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.